Hey everyone, my name is Brian. Welcome to another theme workshop. And in today's video, we actually have a question from Javier who asked, could you show us how to add the flip box functionality into custom themes if it's supported by the community theme creator? Now, to talk about what Javier is actually referring to here is that in big box, uh, what you can see is that there's a flip box button here in the game details view. And if you click it, as long as your a game has a back of a box image it will flip like this to the back of the box and if you click it again it goes again you can also set a hotkey which when you press it will also do the same thing in this view as well as other game views can you add this functionality into the community theme creator well you can but it does take a little bit more work to do and that's what i'm going to show you here today now the reason it works in the default theme here is that it uses a piece of code called the transition presenter and the transition presenter is what governs the logic surrounding the whole flip box functionality here therefore if we want this to also work in the community theme creator we're going to need to use this piece of code inside of it now how do you do that well, the piece of code is available in the default theme, but I will also have it down in the video description here if you just want to copy it. And uh, other than that, let's get started in the community theme creator. Well, here we are in the community theme creator and I've loaded up uh, one of my old themes called Retrofresh. And we're going to use this as an example to see if I can get this flip box capability on the box art that I'm going to place right here in this empty black spot. I'm going to go in to the edit view and we are going to create a new element. But in this case, we're not creating an image element. We are going to create a user source element. This element allows you to place any kind of XAML custom code uh, into your big box theme. Uh, as long as it doesn't error out your theme, you should be good to go. All right, we're just going to position the element in a spot that we want. So something roughly like that. And now we're going to scroll down into a place called user source. And here's where you can place your user source code. I'm going to click new. I'll call it transition presenter uh, image. And we're just going to copy and paste the code right here. So we're going to press save. And what you'll find is that the community theme creator doesn't really know what to do with the transition presenter, but that's okay because the community theme creator is not the one that people will be using. Uh, this will display the image inside of big box, but why don't we find out? I'll save this out. We're going to publish the theme. We'll publish a new copy of Retrofresh, and we'll jump over to big box. Now that we're in big box, I'm just going to switch over. To the theme going to find a retrofresh in this mess of the themes there it is and let's jump over to a game all right nintendo entertainment system kirby's adventure and we're gonna hit flip box and there you go you now have a custom theme able to utilize the flip box functionality of big box if you have a question about custom themes, don't forget to leave a comment below. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody.